Hello everybody, it's Chad Buck, Mr. Judadan, Aleph Met 360. And it is the 30th day of the 5th month, the month I call Dan, after the 5th um, born son of Jacob um, on a 360 day calendar system. Okay, and um, you'll find that in Revelations 11 where it makes it very clear that a 42 months equals 1,260 days where that also equals a time times and half a time three and a half years okay so proven that a year is really 360 unless you're a sun god worshiper but you'll know that because the name of all your months on that system will be named after pagan god names okay um, so, anyway, not to get too deep into that, because you guys probably already know that. So, um, I blow the trumpet um, on the Kadesh, and the Kadesh has nothing to do with the new moon. It simply means first of the month. And on a 30-day month system, it doesn't always fall on the new moon. Sorry to the people who do Islam and sorry to the people who um, um, the Jews who, but if you look at their calendar the people who practice Judaism and the Hebrew calendar you'll notice that it's got the names of um, Persian gods on it and if you do the math on it it doesn't line out either so anyway um, today is the first day of Naphtali the Sun just went down Beautiful sunset, I should add. Should have took a picture of it, but, um, you know, you can either watch it or you can film it, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, I love you guys, and I try to be faithful to let you know about what I'm doing as far as the um, calendar that I keep, you know, because I don't believe in the pagan sun god calendar, and you guys already know that. The Easter Bunny, Santa, Space Buddha, Surfer, Cool Jesus isn't my pal that dude ain't real but the real king the Jesus Christ the Son of God the Messiah the one that actually came and died on the cross and rose from the dead um, yeah we don't add lies to that we don't add any form of mythos to it because the truth of it is perfect enough and um, so um, you know and that's how we feel about it so um, we separate ourselves from um, the the pagan way. We don't do it anymore, okay? And that's just simple. And you guys know that too. You know it too. You're coming awake. You're coming awake, man. I mean, look at the state of the world. And is it right? Is any part of it right? Well, which part are you gonna follow? You know, the sun god people taste great, or the lunar goddess people the less filling. Look, man, we don't watch the Super Bowl anymore ever since Colin Kaepernick. We don't watch football no more. We don't drink beer because we're alcoholic. You know, it ain't right. I'm, um, I'm a son of Jacob of the tribe of Dan, and I cannot drink alcohol. And you can ask Samson about that. <laughs> alcohol in my tribe does not go very well. And um, that's why there's not 12,000 of us listed amongst 144,000. Because we're sinners and we've fallen very short. But I like to think that there's going to at least be one. Because um, my father's name's Papa Dan, so um, on earth. Um, and in heaven. Jesus, the Son of God. So anyway, I blow the trumpet on the first of Naphtali. Okay, yes. It's the sixth month. Um, named after the sixth born. Yeah. Son of Jake. Naphtali. Dan's brother. So, all works out great. And then we got um, the seventh month coming up right after this. So in 30 days, it's going to be the Feast of Trumpets. Where I spend all day blowing the trumpet and having a really good celebration. Yeah. Because then we have the the 
um, Day of Atonement on the 10th. See how I tried to combine them both? The Day of Atonement on the 10th. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and then we got to have the um, first day of the Feast of Tabernacles on the 15th. And then an eight-day celebration where it closes off on the 22nd. Um, is, um, yeah. So anyway, what I do is I blow the trumpet. So I've already done this because the sun just went down. But I come in and try to make a video for you. So... <laughs> practice a few minutes ago so um, it still suck but you know we're gonna get good at this after a thousand years you know so when we reign with Christ for a thousand years well as we believe in him and come to his um, yeah you know, as his power starts to um, work in us you know we're gonna come alive we start doing um, the will of God instead of, instead of the will of man Anyway, so um, I just blew the trumpet, and this is also what I do, because, see, we're in the third year of one week of years. That's what you're looking at. This is one week of years. Each one of these is 360. The, this one picks up where this one leaves off. This one picks up where this one leaves off. And until it gets to the seventh one, where it... The 30th day ends on the Sabbath, making it start over again on the first month, in the first. So, and then you do this seven times, and that's the Jubilee calendar. I mean, that's the real deal. That's not the Book of Enoch thing. I mean, just do the math. Anyway, I didn't want to get all into that, but um, this is what I do. So, I'll be flipping this over. You see? And there's nothing really to that. I'll try to talk to you while I do it. Yeah. Right? So, and then we put this back up there, letting everybody know that this is the year I'm on. This is just the week, my weekly, weekly calendar. Each one of these represents um, a day of the week, which I colored each day of the week because, you know, white light. You know, when God said, let there be light, well, White light is broken up into seven colors, right? I'm not talking about no homosexual stuff. I'm talking about the not no rainbow flag for, for that kind of thing. I'm talking about the colors of God that came naturally off of white light. So there's seven of them. And they come in an order, a natural order off the prism. I just followed that. And that's um, what I did. Each one is, you know... Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Yeah, I just say purple, violet, uh, whatever. You know, and um, so it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Instead of saying Sunday, Monday, I can't stand that stuff. You know, come on, man. The sun wasn't created till the fourth day of the week. How could you ever even call the first day of the week Sunday? But anyway, I believe it's okay to call it Red Day. So I'm calling um, the first day of the week Red Day. Okay. And, but we are just, we was on Orange Day. And it, um, it is now Yellow Day. <laughs> the first day of Neftali. That's why um, this month right here is yellow. It's only because it starts. This whole thing is one week of years. You know, that color thing, that's just one week of years. Done to where um, each month, whatever day it starts on, it's, um, that's what color it is. You know, that's all that means. So, but it forms a cool pattern that can't be fudged. You know, and by coloring it that way, one week of years by coloring it that way, that yes, that is 2,520 days. This color square right here. 
That's what um two thousand five hundred and twenty days. That's forty two months twice. So eighty four months. And and then it, it um starts on the first day of the week. Anyway, it starts on the first day of the week. Um, it ends on the seventh day of the week, and then starts over again. So um, I don't know how to explain that. Um, I I can though. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I just love Jesus. I know some people like to call him Yeshua. I don't um, have a problem with that. Um, um, you want to call use Hebrew words? I don't care. So long as the truth is what you're about. Because a lot of people get hung up on Hebrew talk and um, somehow leave the truth behind. You know, they they want to talk all... Hebrew, they want to dress all Hebrew, they want to, you know, comb their hair all Hebrew, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know what that is, but, um, anyway. Just kind of letting you see my, because I'm a Danite, you know, from the tribe of Dan. So I tried to, um, you know, made a hasty Nazarite oath. Which I broke a long time ago when I backslid, but anyway, because I drank booze and messed up. I'm not drinking now, so I'm doing pretty good, man. I mean, I've, to tell you, I've lost um, like um, 15 pounds, I don't know, in the last two months. Hard working, making bricks like the Israelites with, with straw. Uh, yeah, mud bricks. So I'm just trying to let you in on it. I know I'm kind of rambling, but um, haven't made a video in a while, and I try to make one at least once a month, you know. So um, um, anyway, it's Chad Buck, Mr. Judadan, all of you met 360. Happy Kadesh, first of Neftali, the sixth month. Peace.